Good morning, folks. Welcome back to another episode. Last night, Scott received a new fish shipment, as you can see here. I have new fish. He broke down at like 1.30 in the morning, let the fish all at Wakefield. Allie and I came in at 7. We've been putting away fish since then, and uh, now I'm here, and it's like almost 3 o'clock. Went from Wakefield to Coventry, now to Seacon, and uh, we're going to show you all the new fish we got. Pygmy Cory's back in stock. Woo woo. All right. We got like more Cory's than you can think of. And Elegance. We haven't had Elegance in a little while. I love these because they have like the little stocky face to them. Super, super neat. Everybody always wants Cooley Loaches. And guess what? They're here. Bandy Cooley Loaches available at the stores now. Come get them. Something super cool you don't see every day. Freshwater yellowtail barracuda. Ooh, barracuda. These are something I've never personally, personally seen in person. We got some royal acaras. Super different than any acara you think you've ever seen. This is another rare fish. I mean, I guess not super rare, but these are the Peruvian rummy nose. Ooh, that water's getting high. Or the uh, rummy nose that have no pigmentation on their front. They call them the false rummy nose. So they just have the nice silvery kind of white body. Um, with the flag tail, so not a normal rummy nose, but we have some rummy nose in stock. You'll have to come check them out. One of my favorite angel fish. We got the rust spot Peruvian angels. These are wild angels right from Peru. Super neat. Here we got some more pygmy hatchet fish. Really killer, unique oddball for that like epic top level schooling fish. Not super insanely colorful, but really neat. All right, some really neat Peruvian catfish. We got the L204 Flash Plecos, nice dark black body with orange banding. And then here, we got the giant talking Raphael cats. <laughs> and they really do be getting giant, let me tell you. <sighs> Time for the African cichlids. All right, so these African cichlids have had a long trip over when they get imported. So whenever they come in, they're they're in this very small amount of water, obviously ox, so that they have enough oxygen to make the trip. Uh, but we like to, when we're gonna be acclimating them to our water parameters, we're gonna be adding in a little bit of the Fritz ACCR to neutralize any ammonia that may be in those bags that have developed from the time that they're in transit, uh, just to make their acclimation a bit smoother. So I may have said that these are Julie Corys, but I was wrong, I know, crazy. There's a very slight difference between the Cory C-102 or the Blotchy Blotchy Cory um, versus the Julie Cory. They look almost identical, so it's like the probably the poor man's Julie Cory if you don't want to spend the money on the Julies. Um, but really, really neat, a little bit larger uh, in size compared to the Julies that we got. They're literally the only difference is their dorsal fin has a black spot versus the Julie Corys here, the spot reaches, it's like almost in a square, and it reaches to the end of the dorsal fin. That's it. Otherwise, they're identical. So, the more you know. Alrighty folks, well, Danny's been here for way too long today and I gotta get the rest of these fish out and kinda stop blabbling. We're gonna end today on the orange laser quarries, CW110s, and I hope you have a wonderful day. We'll hit you up with a live video later on uh, Ocean Aquatics on Facebook, and keep